What really drew my attention to the Mayo Clinic was that its goals aligned with my goals perfectly through its Three Shields mission. This includes excellence in clinical practice, research and education. When it comes to research, there are abundant opportunities at the Mayo Clinic. There are a lot of ongoing trials with world experts and leaders in the field and it's very easy to jump onto projects and there are a lot of mentors to help guide you throughout the process. When it comes to education, there's truly no better place than the Mayo Clinic to learn from experts and leaders who participate in writing guidelines that inform changes in our daily practice. So Mayo Clinic is well known for its excellent clinical practice, education and research and I'm sure a lot of the applicants look for those three main traits when they are searching for their idea program for cardiology fellowship. There are a lot of things that make the Mayo Clinic special, especially the culture and the sportive environment. Uh, I've heard about the culture of the Mayo Clinic well along, you know, before I even came here. Uh, and it's absolutely true. You know, everyone's really friendly and supportive. I got to know about the culture during my interview and everyone's really been friendly, supportive uh, throughout this journey so far. Coming, you know, from program directors, the associate program directors, to the uh, program coordinators, to the ancillary staff and clinic, and even to my colleagues, you know, in, in, in a fellowship, uh, my senior fellows and my uh, co-fellows in my class. Everyone's been extremely friendly, supportive, and if you have any questions, everyone that, everyone's there to help you. Um, when we, you know, see challenging cases um, during rounds or, you know, in the cat lab, or in any service, essentially, you have a second hand to support you. You can easily pick up a phone, call any consultant, call any fellow, and everyone's there to support you and help you. Uh, Rochester's a, you know, it's a quite um, interesting place. You know, I personally love living in the Midwest. That's where I did my residency in Nebraska. So I prefer living in a quiet city, um, you know, where there's not a lot of traffic and it's easy to commute around. Uh, it literally takes, you know, less than probably 10, 15 minutes to get anywhere in Rochester. And I think that's a really good perk of living in Rochester. And it's a really city as well you're gonna find different variety of foods different restaurants to, to go to and there are lots of activities as well in Rochester if you prefer going to a bigger city well Minneapolis is uh, pretty close you know it's an hour away the Twin Cities and it has the Mall of America which is the biggest mall in the United States so you know there are different options if you come to Rochester if you want to stay in a quiet smaller town or city well Rochester's like that and if you want to go to a city that's you know where there's more activity you can always drive to Minneapolis I think my advice for the for the applicants would be to prioritize uh, what they're looking for, uh, whether it's research or education or clinical hands-on practice. The great thing about Mayo Clinic is that it provides all three. So really know what you're looking for and you know don't underestimate your goals and don't underestimate what you can achieve. Uh, you can always go to big places, you can always go to institutions that have experts and leaders in the field and you can always end up becoming a big researcher or the next person who informs changes in clinical practice or clinical guidelines. That's all achievable here at the Mayo Clinic.